Welcome back everybody. Today we're here with some pretty exciting stuff because on the first day of June, I'm posting this on the second day, but on the first day of June, we got our first look at The Walking Dead Season 10, which is awesome. Uh, Comic Con is in about uh, 20 days, so that's very exciting where we're going to get the big trailer as we always do. But today we got some information about Comic Con as well as the posters for Season 10 and also Fear the Walking Dead Season 5B poster. So we're going to discuss all that in this video today so with that being said let's get started so this is the official poster we got for the walking dead season 10 at least for comic con we have michonne daryl and carol and i love this poster a lot i love what they did with the walking dead with the katanas um it's real real cool as we know this is michonne's final season um and i maybe that's why they did the little katana but i don't know but regardless this poster is awesome and i did like it so these are you know the the season 10 looks or the characters obviously they look pretty much the same uh but this is awesome i, I mean I, it was so cool how they dropped the poster this early they even dropped it earlier than last year i remember last year it was like the like later on like i think it was like the second week of july and then on the first day of july they, they posted this um this official poster so that's real cool and these three are obviously the main characters um it is a shame that michonne is leaving but she most likely will be going to the movies which is also very exciting uh carol and daryl are most likely going to be staying until the very end which i'm excited about uh but that being said hopefully we get a, um another like full-size poster later on uh with like the whispers sort of like remember that poster um they gave us for all out war like i love that i want something similar like that with the whispers like alpha and beta because we do know the whisper war is going to be in season 10 pretty early so they probably already have a lot of footage of the whisper war um i believe they're filming like episode five right now or six ish uh but regardless the um you know the trailers have the first six episodes so we most likely will be getting some whisper war stuff in that trailer so comicbook.com reported that amc will be uh you know the walking dead will be returning in early october they didn't give it a specific date i'm not sure if comicbook.com knows a specific date we obviously will get the specific date in just a couple weeks so um but all they said is early october so that's um i'm gonna go ahead and assume it's gonna be like the first or second week of october that's sunday we do know that Fear the Walking Dead is going to be taking a very short break between the mid-season finale and the mid-season premiere. It's only going to be a three-week break. So um, that's because Fear did start a little bit late into the year. Um, and they want to make sure it's done by the time the Walking Dead starts, not too late into October. And they've been starting pretty early in October. I remember last year was also the first week. So we can kind of expect the same thing most likely. As far as the actual panel, this is what they had to say about it. So the Walking Dead panel is scheduled for 1 p.m pacific time on friday july 19th in the infamous hall age of the san diego convention center panelists include cast members norman Reedus, melissa mcbride denai guerrera ryan hurst jeffrey dean morgan avi nash uh, nadia hilker eleanor matsura and kaylee fleming along with the chief content officer of the walking dead universe scott m gimple showrunner and executive producer angela king executive producer robert kirkman david Alpert, gail and her and greg nicotero the panel will be moderated by talking dead host chris hardwick so there you go those are the people that will be at comic-con i'm excited for this uh the night grower is going to be there which is exciting just because we know it is going to be her final season and i'm interested to see if they will announce her uh leaving formally like they would andrew lincoln or are they gonna um you know do it more of yeah, well, I don't know if they're going to sideline the question because it's kind of all over the internet. So I feel like somebody from the audience will ask. And I'm just curious as to see how they're going to approach it in terms of are they going to say she's going to the movies if that is what's going to happen or we don't know for sure. But most likely she will be going to the movies or are they just going to say like, yes, it's my final season like they would Andrew Lincoln. And then when the, when the season airs, we'll see what direction they're going. I think it's going to be more of that. I don't think they want to spoil that big moment of her going to the movies. If she is, I, I want to emphasize that because it's not confirmed, but it's most likely because that's what logically kind of makes the most sense. You know, I know a lot of people are waiting for that reunion between Michonne and Rick in the movies or if Rick comes back. Like, I feel like, you know, if the world, of the like this original main show if there's not going to be a cure, if the world is still going to be, you know, like an apocalypse, at least the characters need to have a happy ending. And I feel like since it started out with Rick, Rick and Michonne should have a reunion. And if that's what they're going for, or if that's what a lot of fans are hoping for, at least, killing Michonne would kind of, 
you know, um, ruin that whole storyline. Uh, but who knows? Maybe they just want to, you know, go all out and kill Michonne and then be like, you see, nobody's safe. Because Rick still has his kids. You could make an argument about that. So a, re- a reunion could still happen. So who knows? It's not 100%. But a lot of reports were saying earlier that, that AMC is trying to work out a deal with uh, Denai Guerrero. So if they want to keep her on the show, but they can't because of scheduling and she's doing other movies and stuff like that. That most likely will lead to, um, you know, her leaving uh, just like Maggie and Rick did because they didn't want to kill Maggie and Rick either because they have storylines for them. They most likely will do the same thing with Michonne because they, they probably have a story for her remaining. They didn't say anything about Andrew Lincoln being there. I'm still hoping that maybe he does, um, you know, come by and, you know, because hopefully they gave us some Rick Grimes news by then because they keep teasing that news is coming. And if news is going to be coming soon, I think Comic-Con is the best place to do it. So... I mean, he doesn't have to be there for the news. I'm not saying Andrew Lincoln has to be there for the news. Anybody could say it. You know, Gimple could just give us the news. But I think it'll be pretty nice, uh, you know, for fans uh, to see Andrew Lincoln there. We also have Fear the Walking Dead that's going to be there. This is the official poster for Fear the Walking Dead Season 5B. The interesting thing is uh, we can probably expect a trailer there too for Season 5B. But the interesting thing is that... Um, season 5 episode 8 the mid-season finale is not going to air until after Comic-Con like that Sunday of Comic-Con so if something big is going to happen in that finale then they would have to uh, they would have to work around it you know it's going to be a little bit weird but I am I, I'm, I'm still expecting a trailer for uh, season 5b but this is the official poster a uh, real cool poster um, I can't help but kind of laugh at Alicia's pose if she's going all out you know, whoever is underneath her and is about to get stabbed is about to get stabbed it's pretty hard. But anyways, something that stands out here is that we see Daniel in the background. So obviously he's going to come back around. But Grace is also there. We only had Grace in that one episode where she was clearing out the walkers uh, that were affected by radiation. So we haven't seen her since then. But based on this, you know, her being on the poster, she most likely will be coming back. I always had a feeling she would be back, but I wasn't just quite sure yet because, you know, Fear the Walking Dead, you know, they've been doing big gaps between, you know, certain storylines. Like they introduced, like, you know, we haven't seen Logan for a very, very long time. So, um, I w- and we haven't seen her for a long time too. So I was curious as to like, is this radiation thing like a one-time thing and she's gone or is she going to come back? But it does look like she is going to be involved in season 5B. Um, again, it is a poster, uh, but you know her having the gun up. I am assuming it's gonna be, she's gonna be like part of the group and helping out the group. But um, as far as the panel, if you're interested for Fear the Walking Dead, it will be at 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, so just like an hour ahead of uh, the Walking Dead. So it's gonna be Fear the Walking Dead and the Walking Dead. We can expect a trailer to hit online as soon as um, you know it goes. It airs there. Um, and then obviously here we'll be doing videos all day. So I am very excited for July 19th. And then this is what they had to say about Fear. So Fear the Walking Dead will lead directly into the Walking Dead's panel launching Hall H panel at 12 p.m. Pacific time, like I said. Fear the Walking Dead panelists include cast members Lenny James, Alicia Dem Carey, Denai Garcia, Maggie Grace, Jenna Alfman, Alexa Nessensen. I never said the name out loud, so sorry. Uh, Alston Amelia, Ruben Blades, and Karen David who is playing Grey, so obviously she is going to be important and she's going to be at Comic-Con. Along with Chief Content Officer of the Walking Dead Universe, Scott M. Gimple, show owners and executive producers Andrew Chambliss and Ian Goldberg, executive producers Robert Kirkman, David Albert, Gail Ann Hurd, and Greg Nicotero, and director and co-executive producer Michael Satrazim. This fierce panel will also be moderated by Hardwick. So yeah, that's going to be uh, the people who are going to be at Fear the Walking Dead if you're interested. If you're going to Comic-Con, lucky you. Um, this seems like a blast. I mean, I would love to go to a Hall H one day, especially since I love the Walking Dead so much. I try to get tickets, but man, ticket it's hard to get tickets to Comic-Con. And you were waiting in that waiting room for so long and... You know, by the time I mean, you, I didn't even get in. Like the tickets were sold out, so it's very tough to go. So if you're uh, if you're going there, uh, have fun. But this is exciting stuff. I can't wait for July 19th. I'll be at home making videos, so stay tuned for that by hitting that subscribe button. But that is the information we have for Fear the Walking Dead season five B and the Walking Dead season ten. Our first look at the Walking Dead season ten, which is awesome. We should be getting more information and news throughout the July. You know, like we got um, you know, we got a poster on the first day of July, which is awesome. So I'm excited for the rest of July and heading into Comic-Con. I am going to wrap it up there for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, if you did, be sure to leave a like rating. Again, for more Walking Dead videos just like this, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.